We got some more daily geography tests. Let's see how bad I embarrass myself. This time we're keeping score on everything, so you'll see how bad I do by the end. What is even that? That is not how I wanted to start this off. I want to say I feel like by me complaining, saying a lot of this stuff was too easy, it got significantly harder after that. I, I don't know if like they heard or what. That has got to be either an island or... Possibly is that Central Asia? Is it one of the stands? Okay, so we have to pick something and then it's gonna point us in the right direction. Is it uh, Kyrgyzstan? Possibly, no, it's not even close. It is an island. It's an island in the Pacific. Here we go. I hate when they do this. Okay, we're gonna go Fiji. It's just still more to the right. Uh, Tonga is like up above Fiji, so it's not that. Is it one of the Samoas? Is it like American Samoa? It's still way over. Uh, what is, what is, Palau, Palau. How about how about that? How about Palau? No. Wait a second. We're still really far away. It is not in the Pacific. I've got two more guesses left. Antigua and Barbuda. I don't know why I'm feeling that one. Okay, it, it is. It is next to South America on the west. It's not the Galapagos Islands though. That's not a country. Oh, where do they build the faces? the meme faces. Easter Island. Is that even on here? The Solomon Islands? Maybe it's that? I don't know. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the guess. We didn't get it. What the- what the f- what is that? I'm not even joking. I feel like I've never heard of those islands in my life. So we're already starting this video off. Zero, two, one. So Wordle isn't even like countries necessarily. It can be just British overseas territories. Okay, this is the exact location I thought it was going to be because I started realizing just how far even Fiji was. That's not Fiji, but Fiji was. Something was really fishy like in my head with the globe, like where it was putting me. And I'm like, there, there really isn't a whole lot over here. That's why I said Easter Island. This is insane. What kind of neighbors could a place like this even have? I'm good. I'm good. We're going to move on. All right. Well, at least we have what looks to be something landlocked. I still don't super love it though. Is this Africa? Is this, um, uh, I, I don't think this is Liberia, but it kind of reminds me of that shape. No. Wait, so guess the country. I just want to make sure we're talking countries here, not freaking overseas territories. So we're talking South America, right? 8,000 kilometers? That can't... Oh, this is uh, possibly El Salvador. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I, I couldn't have such a huge L again for my ego. Okay, well, you can kind of see where I was getting Liberia at, right? All right, this one really stumped me last time. So we just have to first start off with any country. There's definitely a strategy to use here, like something maybe smack dab in the middle, maybe something like Egypt. Egypt is kind of smack dab in the middle of the world. So Egypt is somewhat kind of close to the target country. Wait, I actually want to get rid of like the arrows. So Egypt Egypt is 4,000 kilometers still away, but I still, you know, the color was looking like it was better than that. I'll move up to another middle kind of country. Okay, the intensity of the blue went down, so we went in the opposite direction, and we added to, so it's more south. I'm not going to go way down south. We're going to start with Ethiopia. It's, we're getting better. Ethiopia is 2,000 kilometers away. So if this country is, so that looks like it's halfway there. If it was 4,000 kilometers away before, and now it's 2,000 away, then it's maybe Tasman, no, wait, Tasman. Tanzania? Tanzania, come on, baby. Okay, well, the intensity is getting better. We're only 700 kilometers away, but did I pass it? Did I go too far down south? I feel like no. I feel like we need to go further down, so it's Mozambique then, possibly. Uh, okay, we're still not there. We're four. Okay, it's South Africa. It's gotta be South Africa, right? How many guesses do I get? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. No. South Africa. Oh, I went there. Oh, we're actually getting further away. It's in the middle then. It's got to be, it's, it's, it's here maybe. Or is it Madagascar? I like that I took away the arrows, but this is significantly harder. It's not even fun to do it with the arrows. Just tell me it's Madagascar. It's being called. Thank you. Oh. I was really nervous it wasn't because you did not want to see my uh, geography of inner Africa right here. I mean, we had Zimbabwe, Zambia, maybe it was Zambia. Uh, what's it called? Mal uh, Malwis. All right, so I'm two and one right now. We're, we're doing a little bit better. This one's similar to global, except we're getting way different units of information. I don't know why I'm feeling Brazil to start off. So we are in the Southern Hemisphere, which Brazil is. We are not in America. So you're counting both North and South America as just one continent. That's good, I guess. Whatever country it has a about the same, it might be around the same latitude, to be honest. Less people though, and more east. So somewhere in Africa, possibly. I'm gonna go Ethiopia now. No, it is not even, we still have to go further east. Ethiopia is in the Northern Hemisphere? I guess, I guess it is. It has less population than Ethiopia though. That's the 
key data here because I was going to pick Indonesia. Is it like Papua New Guinea possibly? Let's see if we even get the right. We got the Southern Hemisphere part. It's not in Oceania. It's around that degree, but it's slower than 9 million population. Now it's more further west. So it's back in Asia. It's got to be around the same latitude. It's in the southern. What Asian countries are in the southern hemisphere that has less population? Is it Singapore, maybe? I mean, I can't pick Indonesia because Indonesia has way too many people. It's less population than Singapore. This is not good. Singapore is in uh, the Northern Hemisphere, and that's like the furthest I thought I could go. Is it East Timor? Is that even technically a place? This is really hard. Okay, okay, so so Papua New Guinea is, it's west of Papua New Guinea, and it's southeast of pa So it is in that zone. Is it Brunei? Come on, baby. Oh, it's not Brunei. Brunei is still Northern Hemisphere? I don't know where the freaking equator is i have the map in my head it's more population than brunei it is in asia it's got to be right there what is a small is it like christmas island okay i can't pick christmas island it's not this island but i just want to see what they're gonna do that's southern hemisphere dude it's some islands i think I mean, it's it's not this. I already know it's not this, but and that's still northern hemisphere. That's really what I wanted to see. It's not Micronesia, is it? Micronesia's Oceania, dude. I don't know. Especially if they don't let me pick Timor. Oh, did I? Did I? It was Timor. That's not fair. That's not fair. <laughs> what is it called then? I can't say it's East Timor. I picked East Timor pretty early on. I do feel good about getting that one. One percent of people have got it. Or is that is that what that's trying to say? Oh, I discovered one percent of. I I have a lot more still to do. I see. Hold on. Let me, let me just see this. Look, 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 look. It is called East Timor. That's... Ah. Uh, that would have been my third guess, I think. Is it not, like, um, correct? Dude, no. The first, the first, it's called East Timor. I don't know about that one, honestly. Like, well, I got it right, technically. I don't know how many things... Just don't even give me any points for that. Just, what am I on now? I have two right, one wrong. We'll just keep it like that. That's some Baba Bowie. I knew once it wasn't Papua New Guinea, it had to be East Timor just because Indonesia had way too much population and Brunei is, I guess, still considered Northern Hemisphere. Honestly, I didn't even want to do this one, but I, I saw it pop up and I'm like, this is too easy. I'll get my points. Bam. Let me just, boom. Okay, move on. 3-1. I got to get my confidence up somehow. Holy crap. Okay, travel, travel, travel. I don't know how to pronounce this game. We have to do the, like, we have to drive in a straight line from, like, the fastest to, from Uruguay to Canada. I like this game, but this one, this one's actually going to be a little bit more difficult. Today, I'd like to go from, or we have to go from Uruguay to Canada. So, we are going to start with Brazil. That is easy enough. Now, I want to do the exact straight line. I think we're good. Like, there, there's, we have to pick this, the slimmest amount of countries to reach. This is going to get complicated. Um, I think it's got to be Colombia next. This is, I think this is good so far. Then we do Panama and Costa Rica. Did, is Panama on there? Oh yeah. Now it is Costa Rica. Very nice. We're almost there. It's Nicaragua next. We're going to, we don't have to pass through El Salvador, right? So I believe it's Honduras. Okay. Very nice. Now there's Belize here. We're going to go around Belize and we're going to go straight to Guatemala. Yeah, baby. Now we got it. Let's hope this is the fastest route though. And I didn't make a wrong guess. There's Mexico and then here's the USA. And let's see, we did make it. I knew I was going to make it, but is that the fastest route? You got from Uruguay to Canada in nine guesses. The shortest solution was nine guesses. All right. Who is that? Five to one? Uh, okay. Okay. I really enjoyed this game last time. We now are picking the five day forecast for Montenegro, specifically this city. I have no idea where that is. I know where Montenegro is though. So I think the strategy to do this, first of all, it is September. Currently we are doing the end of September heading into fall. I think the best way to do this is you pick the widest range of possible forecasts and then you enter that and then let's see what we're working with so that we for sure know that on this Tuesday it's going to be cloudy. They might honestly it might be like well we know this is wrong because it's yellow so it's definitely not that it might be rainy and then cloudy and then I'll go with a different type of rain just to see what else they give us. Okay so those two are in the correct position we might just have to flip these two. There also might be two of these okay so you know what? I'm going to go thunderstorms I think that's thunderstorms we know that this is right for Tuesday or Monday. This is right for Wednesday. And then you know what I think? I think it's going to be two partly sunny days to end off the week. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. We didn't do that, but we're going to, we're going to make it. We're going to make it. Boom, boom, boom. But what is that one? Is it another cloud? And then another partly sunny. This is actually where the game gets hard. Getting nice. So oh, let's go, baby. So they're clearly dealing with a storm rolling on in. And this is specifically the city in Montenegro that I was, uh, that I was trying to forecast for. Okay. Very nice. All right. We got Flaggle. Uh, I love starting this game with 
with Seychelles. What am I, I'm at like six to one right now. Six right, one wrong. And then one that's just like, uh, I like this flag because it, uh, oh, it gives us a lot of colors to work with. Okay, so this color is right, kind of. Oh, oh, this is, okay, so there's green at the bottom. This is an African country, I think. A red star in the middle. A red star in the middle. We know that this is yellow. Ooh, this is gonna be hard. Yellow with a red star in the middle and then there's green in the corner. Is it that hard? Well, now I kind of want to just pick something with like yellow. Oh, is, is it, um, I was gonna say the Ivory Coast. It's not the Ivory Coast. Well, I'm just gonna pick Nigeria because I want to pick, I want to get more of that green out of the way. Okay, so it's green. It's yellow. There's still a red. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. Wait a second. This is not saying the green goes all the way down. Dude, I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this. I'm trying to think of one of the, like, the more crazier flags in Africa. Which ones has the star? It's not Somali, because they got a lot of colors that they're working with right now. There's there's green in this corner. I'm thinking of that one with the eagle. It's Burkina Faso's flag again. They do have a star. Is it Africa? I actually might be wrong about this. Okay, well, they do have a star. I, I like that. Flags with stars on it. I already know it's not Somalia, but I want to know if I'm going to get some more. Oh, wow. Wow. It's not Vietnam because Vietnam has a red background with a yellow star. I mean, the Congo is at least giving us... Man, I do not know what this is. And I, I'm probably not going to get it. I'll be honest. I'm, I'm just going to give up. No? Yeah, sad trumpet noises. Um, I wasn't going to get that. I was definitely not going to ever pick French Guyana. I will, I will admit that. I don't even know if I've seen the French Guyana flag more more than two times in my life. Wow. Okay, what are we at? Like uh, six right, two wrong. All right, here we go. Here's the other flaggle. That is Cyprus. Let's go. They didn't need to give me all these things here. I yeah. Cyprus, bam. 7-2. I need to do one more, so I did 10 tests. All right, let's try Weirdle. I already have a bad feeling about this. Guess which city this is in? It looks somewhat European. Um, it's not Amsterdam, but it that was somewhat close. It is European, so this is pointing towards Germany. Is it Frankfurt, Germany? This is where it's going to get really difficult. Even if we get the country right, it's more south than Frankfurt. Is it Switzerland? What is, uh, is Tuscany a city? There's only, okay, good. I have choices. Where, okay, is it, uh, that looks very, like, kind of like, uh, Denmark. Dude, I'm not gonna be able to get this. This is not Switzerland, right? I mean, is it the south of France? It's not Monaco? I'm trying to think of cities. Um, there's Zurich, and then there's, uh, is it Geneva? I mean, that's kind of like, okay, it's more north than Geneva. This is it. Okay, that's really mountainy. It's not Zurich, right? I mean, I'm just gonna pick Zurich and, oh my goodness, wow, I will take that. I saw the mountains, so I'm like, we're, I'm thinking we're still in Switzerland. Okay, seven out of three, that's like a 70%, and I kind of got another one of... I, I feel like I still should have done better. And big thanks to my patrons. Destiny Drew Donnell, Ducker, the model. Sebi, if you hear this, I love to you. Drew now. I am the king of fat Norwal. Carmel S. No Inquisitor Zarius. Channels, now Reno is best AI. girl. Luxembourg Order. 5, 6, Robert. E, Rye the Pie, the Great Ralphie, the Mexican the Wicked 760, Hamster, Zane Boy, Lad, and Dad, Jack Traven's annoying friend. And why am I doing this?